Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to talk about scratches and scrapers and the different types that are out there and what you can do to avoid them and basically just have a group chat over this thing. So I have all different types of tanks. Glass thicknesses vary. Acrylic, um, corners, round. It just makes it difficult in general cleaning your tanks. And if you let it go and you wait too long and that calcium builds up, it's going to be really, really hard to get it off and it's gonna make it a lot easier to scratch your tank. So cleaning your aquarium regularly will make it look better and prevent it from getting scratched. So that's one tip, um, and I'll, I'm gonna roll in a whole bunch of you guys because I hate to see scratches in tanks, I really do. I mean, that's why I said sand and rocks is one of the problems that I have, because if you have an acrylic tank and you bang a rock against it, just setting it in place, it'll scratch your tank. So that, that's real upsetting to me. That's one of the reasons why I do not want those hard rocks in the tank and why I'm switching over to the decorated ones. They're just so much cooler. Like I said, you can design it for the coral that you want to keep in your tank. So you, instead of stacking your rocks and looking for the piece and like I said, getting pest. So, but that's another talk for another day. Um, all right, let's stick to the scrapers. So since I do have glass and acrylic uh, tanks, this is kind of like my go-to thing just for cleaning because I have a lot of area and if you're putting your hand in there, this thing is awesome. Now this is like a painter scraper. I got this at Lowe's and it's plastic. It's really soft. So it dings up quick against uh, coralline, but for algae and stuff, it's amazing and it works great and they're only two bucks. So that's a really cool tool. Um, this is another really, really cool tool. For those of you who I said clean daily, this is one of those magnifying mirrors. So it's got the scraper on the one side and the other side is the magnify glass. So if you can clean your tank regularly, that's a blessing and it's super awesome. Um, depending on the size of your tank, we all know magnus sizes d differ. So it's hard finding the right magnet strength for your tank. And, and some of these work great and some of them don't. But this one you actually have to use blades. And this is an attachment you glue onto the magnet. Um, this is an old school one. I even had to rip off the pad because it was so worn out and I put a piece of Velcro on the bottom. I just wanted to test that out and see how it worked. But I wish these were easier and removable in this kind. So if you do have any magnetic substrate like I do, it won't stick to it. I mean, it's crazy thing is when I drop corals in my tank, where's my toy? Okay, here I, I use this back scratcher extender and there's a little magnet on the end in case you drop something, keys, whatever, you can pick up stuff with it. Now this is great because it's collapsible and it's just a great tool to have as a reefer. But if I put this in my sand, man, it'll attach hundreds of granules. Now I just clean this one off and you can still see. I, I, I wiped it down and rinsed it and there's still sand all around there because of that magnet. Now, substrate, I, I don't know how many people keep substrate in their tank that's magnetic. I may be the only one because I have that black and white sand. I absolutely love it and I find it completely gorgeous in general, the black and white sand to me is just super hot. But there goes my trigger. He just dove in the sand, picked it up, chews it because his teeth have to be ground down, right? That's why you need the coral, the hard skeletons for the trigger. Um, but when he does that, he picks up my sand. It gets stuck to the glass sometimes, especially if you don't do regular cleaning and you have algae on it. So then the sand gets stuck in the magnet and it scratches. So. If you guys know anything out there and you use a brand or a company that makes awesome magnets and I don't know about it, feel free to add it in the comments below. I'm kind of just talking about this topic, so I kind of want your feedback. Um, this was an awesome scraper. I'm a big fan of it. It's got the attachment for the blade. Now this one, I bent it up. It was a soft metal, so it just destroyed it. Um, but you know, better the blade, the scraper than my tank. And also, don't leave them in your tank. This is what happens if you leave it in your tank. It gets gross. So, like I said, this one over here with the attachment. To get coralline algae, this is the best thing I've ever seen in the world. Um, but look at the blades you get. And if you ding these blades up, it's, oh my God, even snapping the magnet to your tank. It's so easy to scratch with one of these. So it's like, do you want to take a risk? you got a, a $1,000 tank or however much you have, and you're going to risk it on a metal blade. So... If you guys, like I said, got any products or ideas out there, I want to make something. I actually want to build in a stop 
on these because when you're cleaning your tank and you go to the edge, if you have that blade, it just keeps going and chops up your silicone. So those of you who know what I'm talking about, um, you know, I, I just clean this one. And if you don't pay attention entirely when you're going, look at that. It's so annoying. Brand new tank and chopped up the silicone trying to get the algae off. So, like I said, clean your tanks regularly and you can avoid that. But, you know, it's, it's, you just got to pay attention. This stuff happens. I don't want to discourage anyone because, like, scratching your tank, if you're like me, you will cry. You will be in tears. You'll be freaking out. Like, why? I ah, replaced the whole tank. I can't see that thing. Which brings me to another topic. Don't focus on the bad. Focus on the good in life. But at the same time, your tank, watch out for the little things. So life is full of challenges and hurdles. And those of you who are into reef keeping and been in it for a long time, you have probably hit a ton of hurdles and have learned to problem solve very quickly. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. Being a reefer, you're like a do-it-yourself, all-in-one, home improvement, plumber, electrician. You know what I mean? It's just you pick up traits along the way doing stuff. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Uh, please leave your comments below. If you got an awesome idea or if you know a product, like I said, please leave a link below. I like to represent other companies too. Give a shout out, a brand, because uh, I had my magnetic flipper here, and I don't know where that thing got lost in one of the tanks somewhere. It's um, it's not a very strong magnet, but it's got the blade on the one side and the scratcher on the other, the scratching pad. But they need removable scratching pads. So if you see one and it's got a removable pad, um, I'd like to check that out because those pads wear down and don't work as well after um, you know not not too long. Another good scraper is using store cards, credit cards, or um, hotel keys. They work really well at cleaning off algae and they're disposable. So once you wear it out or something, you don't care. And they're flexible, you can get in corners, bend it around the edge. So there you guys go. Make sure you keep these. If you have them, uh, I still have mine from Mac and I use them to clean my tank once or twice. But, um, but yeah. And check for when they wear. When they wear it down, throw them out. Make sure you get a new one. So, that's that. So, there you guys go. Thanks again. See you in the next one. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend, and thank you for being part of the Coralus community.